Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem proposed by South Korea for the International Mathematical Olympiad 1992 but it was shorter listed and it, it appears at, as problem number 16. We wish to prove that 5 to the power 125 minus 1 over 5 to the power 25 minus 1 is a composite integer, composite number. Uh, so, my hints for this problem, let x to be 5 to the power 25, it should be pretty clear that our fraction can be written in this form, and now comes the tricky part, we need to do some kind of factorization, and it turns out that factorization of this form should work, it's just a matter of trying, trial and error. So it's factorization of form 1 plus a times x plus x squared, everything squared, minus 5 times x, c, x plus d squared, for some integers a, b, and c. Try to do it and I will see you in a moment. Okay, so here comes my solution. So as I suggested, let, for the sake of, for the brevity sake, uh, I will sorry, I will write x to be 5 to the power 25. And now let's notice that our number, our number can be written as x to the power of 5 minus 1 over x minus 1. And it can be written as 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth power. Okay, so it's clearly an integer. Is it composite? That's the question. And now, as I said, we will try to write to write 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth power as 1 plus a times x plus x squared squared minus 5x cx plus d for some integers, sorry, square is missing, but I need to put here, let's, let's go, squared, for some, for some a, b, and c, which are integers, uh, sorry, not cx plus d, but bx plus c squared, okay, so let's take the right hand side and let's expand it. 1 plus ax plus x squared squared minus 5x bx plus c squared. Okay, so I have 1 plus a squared x squared plus x to the fourth power plus 2ax plus 2x squared plus 2ax cubed, that was just the first parenthesis, and the second parenthesis is minus 5b squared x cubed minus 10bcx squared minus 5cx squared. No, sorry, minus 5c squared x this way. And now let's group the terms together in increasing order. So first I have x to the fourth power. What do I have with cubes? Well, I have 2ax cubed and I have minus 5b squared x cubed. Very well. Second powers, I have a squared x squared, I have 2x squared and I have minus 10bc x squared. So let's write it. Plus a squared minus nbc plus 2x squared. What do we have with x? Well, we have 2ax and we have minus 5c squared x. And finally, we have 1. We have 1. All right. And now, 
that should be identically equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus a x cubed plus a x to the fourth power. And we should have the following. Well, x fourth x to the fourth power is here and here, that's well. 1 is here and here, that's also well. But 2a minus 5b squared should be equal also to 1, because here we have 1x and here we have that many x's cubed. Uh, moreover, a squared minus 10bc plus 2 should be also equal 1, of the, because of the same reason. And finally, 2a minus 5c squared should also be equal 1. And now, crucial moment, we need to find a, a triple of solutions. Just one. One triple of solutions to it. Well, how can we, how can we do it? I suggest just guessing. <laughs> That's the easiest way. Well, maybe let's start with putting b and c to be 1. If b and c are 1, then 2a should be 6, so a should be 3. Does it work? Here I have 6 minus 5 equals 1, 6 minus 5 equals 1, and this I have 9 plus 2, it's 11, 11 minus 10, it's 1. Very well. It's, we have our numbers. Again, if you, if you have tried any other kind of factorization and you don't have integers, integer coefficients, try other sort of factorization. Trial and error. Very well. So that says, so that says that one, plus x, plus x squared, plus x to the third power, plus x to the fourth power, is 1, is rather x squared, plus 3x, plus 1 squared, minus 5x, x plus 1 squared. And now, let's put back our original x's. So it's 5 to the power 25, squared is 5 to the power of 50 plus 3 times 5 to the power 25 plus 1 squared minus 5 times 5 to the power 25 5 to the power 25 plus 1 squared and now here's here comes the fortunate part this number is a square it's 5 to the power of 13 Squared. So we have a difference of squares which gives us the following factorization. 5 to the power of 50 plus 3 times 5 to the power 25 plus 1 minus 5 to the power 13, 5 to the power 25 plus 1. It's one factor and the other factor is exactly the same but we have a plus. We have plus right here. And finally, we have the following. 5 to the power of 50 minus 5 to the power 38 plus 3 times 5 to the power 25 minus 5 to the power 13 plus 1. And the second factor will be exactly the same, but will have pluses only pluses. And now we have factorization, we have a product of two numbers. It should be rather obvious that both of these numbers are greater than 1. So this number is obviously greater than 1 and this number is also greater than 1 because here we have 5 to the power of 50, here we have a lower power, so it's positive, here we have obviously another positive number and here we have plus one and that means that our number is a product of two integers greater than one which implies finally 
finally that implies that 5 to the power 125 minus 1 over 5 to the power 25 minus 1 is a positive integer but is not a prime. So it's a composite number. And that closes our problem. Pretty, pretty tricky problem. The key was the factorization. If you if you want to know more about it, there is so called I don't remember. I will provide link in the description. Uh, there is a well written article on Wikipedia about these types of factorizations. So you may wish to take a look. And that's it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.